Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the products that I pulled um, from my stash that will that I will be using to make my 10 handmade cards. So if you are new to my channel or have not seen this series, I started it in 2017 and I'm continuing in 2018 because I it just makes me feel good to use my stash and it also helps me to kind of break out of my normal things that I do and try to kind of think outside the box because I'm focusing on using certain products. So um, like I said, if you are new to this, to this series, this is what I call 10 handmade cards, one homemade kit. So there's a lot of card kits out there. And um, I, I actually, I love them all. There's been so many times where I've been tempted to purchase one. But when I really think about it, I have already so many things in my, in my scrapbook room that needs to um, be used up or at least touched once in a while. And so I figured instead of buying a kit, I'm going to make my own homemade kit. And so these are the items that I pulled for my January, February kind of card homemade kit. Um, I do this um, every other month. And so because January is kind of a winter month and my December kit was kind of a wintry theme. I wanted to kind of focus on a love themed pay, uh, love themed kit. And so I pulled out a bunch of my hearts and all of the love themed items in my stash. So let's get started. First of all, um, I pulled out some paper. So these ones are, there's just very little left in these kits or in these packs which I thought would be perfect so I can use them up. The first one is a 6 by 6 paper pad and what is the name of this one? Um, I don't know what the name of this but it has as you can see it has some kind of love theme in there but it also has like a mint, it has black, it has some other colors that I thought would be good if I didn't want all of my layouts to, or all of my cards rather, to be all love themed. So I, you know, I could do thank you cards and whatnot. So that was good. But this one from Doodlebug, it's called the Sweetheart. Um, this was, this is a very old paper pack. Um, it's 2013 when this was um, released. So uh, it's really old. So I thought this would be a good paper pack to use up. And then it'll give me also the incentive that if I use this up, I can go get a new new to me um, kind of Valentine's paper line. So I'm gonna use that up. And I also found these stickers. This is from my little shoe box and they're no longer um, in business, but I used to be in their design team. And I just found that these they have these flowers. I've been kind of watching some of the 10 handmade card kits or videos using Simon Says Stamps kits and um, some of them have like sticker a whole sticker sheet and then some of the ladies that would create on YouTube they would use up these flowers or the stickers as embellishments so I thought I would do the same and you know just pulling stuff from my stash um, and then for for tools I have um, a bunch of die cuts here I wanted to really kind of maximize my die cuts and also a new to me um, embossing folder Anyways, this one's paper smooches and it just has a bunch of different sized hearts, which I thought would be appropriate for this kind of kit. I also have this one. It's a heart doily from um, Diversions. And so I thought that I could use that for maybe like a window card or a, um, um, a shaker card. And then I have this um, just very basic die cuts from Inspired by Stamping. I want to use the labels for maybe stamping my um, sentiments and then maybe the circle or the oval for windows. And then something that's new to me, that's an embossing folder from Doris. I bought this a while back from Tuesday morning, but I love the um, very bold flower. And so I have some ideas that I want to use this folder for. So we shall see. And then I also have this heart washi from Little B that I got from Tuesday morning and it's wider so I figured um, I can use that kind of to cover up paper to make my own pattern paper. We shall see but um, thought that a heart would match with my theme. 
I also have some sequins from Studio Calico. I got this as part of a card kit that was on sale a while back. And so it has pinks and reds, which of course fit, fit perfectly for the theme. And then just a few more small pearls. This is kind of a beige tone so it's not pure white but I thought it would kind of give a romantic feel for um, some of my love type um, cards so that's what I picked and then as for stem I only have one stamp today because I thought that the die cuts would be efficient or sufficient for me to use uh, over and over again with these 10 cards so this one's from inspired by stamping and it's called petite banners and it has it has just four different um, sentiments best wishes have a sweet day just note for someone special but I don't know if you can tell but this one actually matches the two banners that are over in this um, specific die cut pack so these ones will really get um, used and be um, maximized with this particular kit so I'm going to use that and then I also found some uh, rub-ons these ones are from Pebbles Inc. And it's just congratulations rub-ons, which I thought would be really cool if I wanted to do something other than love theme for some of my cards. And then a bunch of thank yous from Doodlebug. And it has the pinks and the blacks. So I'm thinking that I can incorporate that as well. And then for card for cardstock, um, I have a white one, um, a beige one, and then I have a few scraps actually. So um, if you watch my scrapbook videos, you know that when I do a background, a cardstock background, I got the inside of it because I know that it's not gonna show in the front. And so I use these um, eight by eight papers to kind of make my own card bases. So I figured I'd pull those out um, for making this card kit because that's what I have planned it for. So including these, so there's, I can make two cards with a, a single eight and a half by 11 sheet. So there's two and then four. And I can make one here for five, six, and then seven. I believe that's my count. Two, four, six, seven. And then, oh, I think I put, I have two whites, I think. That's why I'm going to make 10. I can't remember what I counted, but um, all in all, this is gonna make 10 card bases. So that's my plan. And then I threw in a red vellum. As you can see, this is a scrap. So I'm gonna see if I can incorporate that. So this kit, um, as you can see, is kind of like a mix of using up my stash, but at the same time, kind of making something new and um, different out of them. So I put my kit contents in this, um, kind of metal rack that I found at Goodwill. Basically, this is a um, utensil caddy where you can put this in a shelf or in a drawer, I, I should say, and then put your um, your um, knives and forks and spoons and whatnot. So I just like that they're divided and so I can put like long items over here in the very back and then I could kind of divide my items into little spots so that I can easily view my products that I am gonna be working with. And then I'm not, they're not gonna get lost in the abyss of my very messy table. And so that's what I do. And so I hope that you will stick around. If you are not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe because the next video after this will be a process video showing half of the cards that I create with this kit. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, I, and if you have any questions, make sure that you leave it in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys another day. Bye.